I'm John Decker, Director of Instruction for the Medallion Club and Top 25 Instructor for Golf Tips Magazine, and welcome to Decker Golf. Today I want to talk to you about the full swing. I want to talk to you in particular about the driver. Uh, I want to give you a, a release and a finish position that's going to give you more distance with your driver, which is something that all of my students are looking for and all players look for. We all want to get more distance. But one of the things that you want to do to get distance in the full swing is you want to allow the club to release. And the finish that I like to term a, a lot of times when I'm working with my students in the release is going to be called the waiter's finish. So you think about a waiter. A waiter is holding a tray like this. Their elbow's tucked in, their wrist is bent, and they're supporting the tray like this. I've never seen a waiter hold a tray like this, and I've never seen a waiter hold a tray way out here. The tray is always close to their body because your power is right here. Your power is not out here, so you want to get that ar left arm really tucked. I like to feel like I can stick my left thumb right into my left ear. So when I'm, when I'm finishing or, or uh, in my swing, I want to feel like the, the, left, the thumb is going in my left ear, and I want to be able to turn just like that. Notice I've got this club on the back of my neck, and I'm just turning through getting my legs together just like that. That's the waiter's finish. That's where you want to finish whenever you're hitting your shot. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit a shot. I'm going to go through and after I hit my shot, I'm going to let go with my right hand and see if I can be on balance, my legs together, and see if I can be in that waiter's finish just like this. Arms tucked real close to my left ear. Club is going all the way through the shot just like this. Hit that ball nice and solid. Make sure that when you're hit, when you're doing this drill at home, you can do it without hitting a ball. Just stand there, practice turning through just like that. Keep this left arm really close to your body, left thumb right near your left ear, and just turn through the shot like that. If you do that, you're going to release the club, and you're definitely going to improve your game. 